Moana, A Path to the Sea. This story is from the book Five Minute Princess Stories by Disney Press. Moana loved the ocean. She loved swimming, canoeing and walking along the shore. When Moana was old enough, Grandma Tala taught her how to surf and Moana spent a lot of time trying to ride the waves. After paddling into the ocean, she would float on her board and wait. Then, when the right wave came along, she would pop up and stand on her surfboard. One day, as Moana and Pua waited for a wave, a sea turtle paddled towards them. He swam directly up to Moana and looked right at her. She watched as he floated beside her. Hello, she said. There was something familiar about the sea turtle, but Moana couldn't figure out where or when she had met him before. It was almost as if she'd known him when she was a little girl. The sea turtle stayed with Moana and Pua, playing with them in the water all day long. When Moana surfed, the turtle seemed to do the same beside her, even letting Pua stand on his back. You like to surf too, Moana said, smiling at the sea turtle. She thought for a moment. I will call you Lolo. For many days, whenever Moana and Pua went to the ocean, Lolo found them. They had fun swimming, surfing and playing in the waves. One day, Moana stayed on the shore until dark to watch the ocean sparkle with moonlight. I knew I would find you here, said Grandma Tala, joining Moana on the beach. The two walked under the stars, picking up seashells along the way, until Moana noticed Lolo swimming towards the shore. They watched as the sea turtle crawled up onto the sand and over towards the coconut trees. There, Lolo started digging a hole. Does he need help? Moana asked. Grandma Tala shook her head and the two continued to watch quietly until Lolo covered the hole and went back into the water. What was he doing, Grandma? asked Moana. She, you mean, Grandma Tala said with a laugh. <gasps> Moana gasped in surprise. Your turtle friend just laid her eggs in the hole she dug, Grandma Tala said. Generations of sea turtles lay their eggs right there. She told Moana how the baby turtles made their way to the ocean after hatching. And when the females grow up, they come back to lay their eggs, she added. How do they remember that spot? Moana asked. And how do the babies even know to go to the ocean? They just know, said Grandma Tala. Moana understood. They listen to their hearts, she said. That's right, Grandma Tala said proudly. Moana checked the nesting grounds every day. She wondered when the baby turtles would hatch and she hoped she would get to see them. One day, Moana and Pua were surfing when the sky turned grey. They quickly paddled to shore and as the rain poured down, they raced back to the village. When they got home, they watched the trees bend and sway as they listened to the music of the raindrops. Soon after the storm was over, the sun came out. Moana grabbed her surfboard and hurried back to the ocean. When she got there, she couldn't believe her eyes. The storm had knocked a coconut tree right on top of the nesting grounds. Luckily, the eggs were safely buried deep underground. But what if the baby sea turtles hatch, she wondered. They could be trapped. Moana had to do something fast. She ran back to the village and told her friends what had happened. The eggs will hatch any day, she explained. Her friends agreed to help and Moana led them to the site. They all worked together to carefully clear the fallen tree. But then suddenly they heard a loud crack. Another palm tree had been damaged in the storm and it was about to fall onto the site. Hurry, urged Moana. Let's push it away from the nest. Everyone gathered round the broken tree. They used all their strength to push until finally it snapped and fell. We did it, cheered Moana, breathing a sigh of relief. The next day, Moana and Grandma Tala were dancing with the ocean waves when Moana saw something move in the nesting grounds. 
Grandma, look, she said excitedly. Lolo's eggs were hatching. They watched as the baby sea turtles made their way out of the nest. When a seabird swooped in and tried to capture one of the baby turtles, Moana waved her arms and Pua chased the bird away. Moana and her friends protected the newborns, determined to see that each and every one made it safely to the water. Later that day, when Moana and Pua went surfing, Lolo and her little sea turtle swam around them, paddling and playing together. Moana smiled. She felt great knowing that she had helped Lolo's sea turtles, and there was no better way to celebrate than by enjoying the ocean together. If you liked this story, press thumbs up. If you want to buy your own copy of this book, you can find the link in the description below. Make sure you check out our next story time video. It's going to be about Disney Princess Belle and her adventure in a hot air balloon. Can't wait to see you soon. Bye.